There are many ways teachers keep track of student grades, whether it's with an online platform like Google Classroom with its built-in scoring system, or a digital spreadsheet like Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel, or maybe you're just a wild teacher writing down scores on little pieces of paper. Either way, having some kind of record keeping for student performance is really important. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build your own student grading system, all with the power of Notion. The grading system can easily keep track of any type of quiz, test, a assignment you throw at your students. All of the grades sit in a spreadsheet-like database similar to Excel, but are automatically linked to a student which can be easily accessed on the student page. All of these grades are then added together to give a final performance score, which is represented by a nice progress bar. I use a system like this to manage literally thousands of weekly quizzes and assignments for a hundred plus students, and it just makes my life just so much easier. Okay, let's start off with a blank page called Student Grades, and we're going to begin by creating two inline databases uh, just by using the slash command, and we're going to call the first one Grades, and we'll call the second one Students. We're going to delete these tag properties. We're going to add in our first property, and this is going to be a relation property between the grades and students. So we're going to come over to Relation here, click on Relation, and then click on Students. We'll click on Show Student and click Add Relation. And so now this is essentially a two-way communication between these two databases. In our grades database, we're now going to add in three more properties. The first one is going to be a date property for when we assign the grade. We're then going to add in a score and a total. So let's come over to number here and we're going to type in score. And so this property will be for the, the score of the grade. So if it's like a test out of 100, student gets 75, the score would be 75. So let's add in another number property and we're going to call this total this time. And now this will be the total amount of points, I guess, that the grade is worth. So if we had, say, a, a quiz, and it was out of, I don't know, 10, the score would be 7, and so the student would get 70%, right? Now we're going to add a nice little progress bar that is calculated from the score and total here. But let's first kind of rearrange these a bit, make this a little cleaner here. Okay, we're going to come over here and we're going to add in a formula property, and this is to create our progress bar. And so we can call this grade. We're then going to come over and edit the formula, and what we're going to do is we're going to click on score, and we're going to divide it by the total. When we click done, we'll come over and show it as a percentage and then a bar. And there we go, we can see our grade represented as a progress bar. But now we're going to change one thing. Like let's say our total was out of 9. You can see that there are all these repeating decimal places, and we don't really want that. And so we need to round off our number a little bit. And we can do this by coming back into the property, and we'll edit the formula. And we're going to just add a rounding function. So let's bracket this here. We'll come to the beginning of the formula. We'll click on round. We'll do that. We'll then times it by a thousand, close bracket, and then divide by a thousand. That's just how we apply the rounding function. We'll click on done, and so this will now just show uh, three, three digits. Okay, so now let's see what this looks like by adding in a student. We're gonna delete these here. Maybe we'll move these around. Let's call this maybe quiz one. Let's create another by just duplicating this. And we'll call this quiz two. Maybe we'll give it a date for today. And then we'll change this to eight. Let's create a sample student to demonstrate this. We'll just call this Milo, that's me. And then we'll add in some grades here. So we can now tag this grade to our student. Great, and we can see that the student has appeared here on the grades database. Now this is all fine, but we want the grades to show up on the student profile. And so what we need to do is to create a rollup property. And a rollup basically looks at a relation property and examines the properties within that relation property. So I'll show what that looks like. If we come to roll up, we're going to click on score. Sorry, we'll give a title score. We'll then select the relation for grades. And so what this will do is it will look at all of the properties inside the grades database. The property we want to look at is the score database. And so you can see actually that it shows seven 
and 8 separated by a comma, which are our scores from our grades database. We'll come back into score and click edit, but we don't want to show just the original, we want to calculate the sum. And so we're going to come over here and click on sum, and there we go, we, we've, we've added up the scores from both of the quizzes. We'll now do the same thing to calculate the total score from both of the quizzes. So we'll come down again, add a roll up, we'll call this total this time. We'll select grades, property, click on total, and then calculate the sum. There we go, and now we have our score and our total uh, from all of the grades that are tagged to this student. We're then going to add a progress bar similar to what we did with the grades here. Let's click on uh, the grade and we'll copy over the formula, click done. We'll add in a formula down here to our student, click on formula. We'll call this total grade this time, go to edit formula, and we'll just copy and paste this here. And so this score and total property is being referenced from the student database. There we go, we'll click on percent, click a bar. We'll change the color so that it's different from the grades database, maybe red, and there we have it. Let's just hide this grades property here. We'll just hide in view. If we don't hide it and you have many grades tagged to a giant list of students, it gets messy very quickly. Hiding it won't remove the property, it just removes it from view. Okay, let's just clean this up a bit here. We'll slide this over, we'll delete this, we'll delete this. Okay, now for the part that I think is actually what's really cool about this system, is if we come into our student here and we click on open, what we can do is then show these grades as page section. We can then come over here and show some of these properties. So let's click on score, total, and then grade. And so now we can see all of the quizzes, tests, assignments that are tagged to the student, and we can also see their score here. This is really nice if you have many different tests and assignments and grades over a semester, over an entire year. You can just come in and click on the student and see all of their scores. Now to add grades very quickly to students, we're going to add in one more property here, and this one's going to actually be a button. So we're going to click on button here, and we're going to call this add grade. Now this may seem a little complex, but I swear it's not. Uh, just follow along and you'll see how easy it actually is. So this is essentially a button automation. So when the button is clicked, it will do a certain action. So what we're going to do is come over here and click on add action. We're then going to add page to. We're going to select the database and we're going to add a page to the grades. So we'll click on grade. We'll leave this blank here, but we're going to edit one of the properties in this new page. And what we're going to do is tag the student. So we'll click on student, click on select, and we'll say this page, which means this student. Okay, we'll click that there. We'll then click on uh, add another step and we'll click on open page. We'll select the new page that's added and so what this will do is when it creates a new grade in the database it will tag that student to the grade and then open it up for us to to edit and add the grade. So let's see what this looks like. Let's move it over here. We'll change this and now if we click on this add grade button we can see this pops up here. We could add in quiz number three. Let's move these around actually, just to make this a little easier. Total score, good. We'll say it's out of 15. We'll give a score of eight, and then we can just close it like that. And we can see that our quiz has been applied here with its score, and it's also been tagged to our student. So if you have a giant list of students, you can just click on this button quickly to add in a new score. So to demonstrate this more appropriately, let's clean up our database first. We're going to add in some basic templates for each of the grade and student. This is just to apply an icon really quickly. So we'll just call this, uh, we can call this untitled, but let's add in an icon for this. We'll do a little paper here. And we're going to come over to the date property and we're going to click on today. So whenever a new grade is created, it'll automatically apply the date for today's date. Great, and we'll come back here and then we will set this as default. Okay, we'll do something similar to the student. We'll call this, we can leave this untitled, but we'll just add in an icon, maybe a student here, right? And we'll then set this as default. We'll apply this here. 
just makes everything look a little nicer. Let's apply some icons to our properties here. We can also hide the database titles and add in some headers. Now we have the basic form of our student grades tracker. So let me demonstrate how this might work in practice. Let's first add in some sample students here. Let's say Mark, let's say Charlie, and then Sarah. And so now we have some students here. And so let's say we do a weekly quiz. What we can do is then come down to our students and we can click on add grade here and we can pull up grade. Now we could manually type in uh, the quiz here. We could type in 10, we'll call this quiz number one, add in the score, right? And we could do it that way and do it all for every single one of our students. Uh, but we can make this a little quicker by adding in grade templates. So if we come over to here, we'll then click on duplicate and let's call this a quiz template. So we'll call this quiz number. Maybe every quiz we do is out of 15, and we can just leave it like that. We could then give it another icon as well, just to differentiate it from other grades. Let's do that there. Great. And now what we can do is then we can come down and add grade. Let's first turn this off to default. We'll set this as default here, right? Because we don't want it to automatically apply that. So then we can come down to our students, click on add grade. We have untitled, we can click on quiz, and then we can type in two, and then give the score quickly. We can then go to our second student, come down, click on quiz, type in two, give them a score, and then the exact same thing with a, another student quiz. Type it in again, 14, quiz two, there we go. And now all of these quizzes have been uh, made very quickly. And you could do the same thing for different assignments uh, that have different total scores. Now you might have already guessed by now, but let's say you have 10, 20, or 100 students and you do a quiz every single week or an assignment every single week, uh, this database is going to get full very quickly. And so one thing I do to make this a little more organized is to create a group or to sort it by group. So we're going to come here and click on group. Then I'm going to click group by name. We'll then add a sort here to sort by name so that it shows in alphabetical order. I'm also going to add in another sort and I'm going to sort by grade. And so we can see uh, who has the highest grade at the top here. Let's click to descending and there we go. And so now if you do a quiz or an assignment each week, you give it the same name and then tag it to individual students you'll get these nice little toggles here that you can then hide when you don't need them. You can then quickly add a quiz to by just clicking on new and then tagging the student as well. That's another way we can do it. But really I find the easiest way to apply grades is just by using these buttons here along with the grade templates. And I find this is much faster than any system I've used. I've used Google Classroom, I've used spreadsheets for a long time. And I find just having a system like this in Notion is just uh, just way better, it's faster, it's easier to manage, and it's just nicer to look at. Plus, it's in Notion, and Notion's great. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe, and if you want to download a free version of the template I made in this video, then check out the link in the description down below.